What's up everyone? I'm Drew Binsky and today I'm gonna show you what I think is the world's cheapest country and it's called Afghanistan. I've now spent over three weeks traveling across six provinces in Afghanistan and I think that this country is truly the most affordable in terms of your everyday items. 15 cents for a bottle of water. That's a pretty good price, man. It's definitely gonna make my cheapest country in the world video. Afghanistan becomes even cheaper when you exchange dollars on the street as opposed to an ATM because the black market rate gives you 15% more bang for your buck. Today, I'm in the beautiful western city called Herat with my buddy Thomas, and even though it's one of the biggest cities in Afghanistan, it's still really affordable. So just to prove to you how cheap it is out here, I'm gonna run around the city and purchase several random items. Our first stop, as usual, is the market. Oh man! Yes, very cool. <laughs> which is casually located next to Alexander the Great's former home dating back to 330 BC. Legend has it that this market has also been around for thousands of years. We're at this market here, we got all different kinds of seeds and rice and grains, and uh, we're gonna buy one of them. Uh, it's uh, the hash seeds. So you, you're buying it to grow hash? Uh, no, actually, it's uh, we are going to make uh, a nice drink out of this. Does it make you high? Yeah, the, the drink is very nice. It gives you a very nice feeling. How much is that in dollars? Uh, like probably 10 to 20 cents. And this is a heavy bag, like maybe two pounds. Oh, so we're on the broom it. street and we're gonna buy a broom and see how much they cost. Yeah. How much are they? Uh, it's 50 halves each. 50 halves. 35 to 40 cents for a broom. Literally, a handmade broom. So they make it with this like yellow duct tape, rubber bands, and then it's a special plant that they use. This is so cool. What is he selling? He says uh, cucumber per kg is uh, 15 apps. Yeah, which is like 10 cents per kg. 10 cents per kilogram of fresh cucumbers. Okay, let's buy one. I'm sure like lots of people are gathering. Okay, so let's yeah. They're just kids though. So for all of these items here, the broom, the cucumbers, and the hashies, we paid 80 apps, which is about a dollar. One US dollar for all of these things. In the USA, let me just tell you something. This would be five to eight dollars. This would be ten dollars. So, and this would be maybe five. We're looking at $20 in the USA for all of this stuff. Oh, okay, $20. And here in Afghanistan, it's $1. <laughs> After the market, it was onwards to try my favorite beverage in Afghanistan called pomegranate juice because now is the peak season. The three of us hopped in a tuk-tuk and we were on a mission to find the freshest palm juice in town, but let's not overlook how fun these three-wheeled taxis are. One of the coolest ways to get around the city is by tuk-tuk or rickshaw. So we are going to uh, negotiate a price now to drive us around the city uh, and it's going to be an awesome time. <sighs> that was really tense, man. Holy crap. Can we talk about what just happened? So we stopped outside of the mosque here to get a tuk-tuk and immediately the, they came and talked to us. Nor was putting on, fixing my uh, my headscarf and that immediately, I don't know, made them super suspicious for some reason and they just came up. And there were like military people standing out there and uh, when, uh, when they saw us, they were just a little bit suspicious and wanted to make sure everything is fine. Well, we are now riding in a tuk-tuk, which is... Oh, <laughs> I can't talk because the horns. It is the local transportation here in Afghanistan. And, uh, uh, Nor, how much does it cost to take a, a ride around town? Uh, uh, it's like 30 apps. So, 40 cents? Yeah, something like 40 cents. Yeah. Something like 40 cents to ride across the city of Herat, which is extremely cheap, and it's also really fun. How are you enjoying it? Yeah. <laughs> I'm still in shock from what just happened. Yeah, but dude, no, okay. this, is, this is great. Now we're in disguise because we're in a yellow tuk tuk and we just look, no one's gonna randomly stop us and be like, hey, totally. There are no traffic laws here whatsoever. It's no. just like pull forward and people just dodge you. That's it. Like, it's, no rules. I saw an old man almost get run over <laughs> and he just kind of like sped up towards the sidewalk 
and then didn't even look, wasn't even mad at the car. He just kept walking after that. After a really fun ride, we made it. This pomegranate vendor literally set up his shop in the middle of two busy roads. Afghanistan never fails to impress. Nor, how much is one cup? Uh, this one right here is like uh, 50 apps. So 80 cents? Yeah, it's something like 60. <sighs> We headed for lunch at a fancy restaurant and look at all of this delicious food. Oh, look how it just falls off the bone. Wow. Oh my Dude. god. How is this possible? Obviously, this wasn't the cheapest meal that we could find, but I wanted to let you know that Afghan food is extremely underrated. As we were eating, our driver secretly planned for us to meet up with his friends who invited us to smoke something that is popular in Afghanistan. So what's, so what's happening right now, Tor? There are a bunch of friends of him, and uh, they were planning to get together to, to chill a little bit. And uh, he called them, so he said, okay, okay, we're going to like their normal location where they always gather. So they, they invited us? Yes. So we've just been invited to hang out with some local guys and smoke some hash. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny because I saw him on the first video that you did about hash in Afghanistan, the top comment was like, this is one heck of a story, and that's totally what this feels like right now. It's just like, when when in the world would I ever imagine smoking hash in Afghanistan? But this is like where it's from, right? I have a little bit in my uh, pocket. Oh, cool. Do you just have it for yourself? Like, you just have the hash? Yes, just, you know... Why do you have that, Nor? You know, Drew, just for fun. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Dude, like, I love how he just whipped out a hat. Yeah, like... like uh... We're almost arriving uh, <laughs> at our driver's house, which is where we're meeting his friends. Yeah. You feeling nervous or are you feeling alright? Uh, I feel a little bit nervous being outside of the city center, but... I put my full trust in Nor, man. Nor would never take us to a place that he didn't feel comfortable, seriously, so... Um, we should be good. Oh, no man. Way. Dude, oh, I can't believe this. We just turned the corner and there's a bunch of dudes up here playing local instruments, like waiting for our arrival. Can you believe this? Salam alaikum. Salam alaikum. Salam alaikum. Salam alaikum. Salam alaikum. How are you? Salam alaikum. Salam alaikum. What have we just walked into? <laughs> I'm not gonna put my mouth on it, I'm just gonna suck over my fingers here. Yeah. Look at this thing. That is strong as Oh my god! Very good, nice! Yeah. yeah. Well, we're getting high in Afghanistan. <laughs> chilling, man. Just chilling. <laughs> so the coolest part about this experience is you feel like you're hanging out with friends in You're 60! We can't speak to each other, but it doesn't matter. Like, we're bros. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> How much does it cost for like a stick of hash in Afghanistan? Maybe the, the, the one that I showed you before? Yeah. That one costs like 50 apps. 50 apps, so less than one dollar. Oh, ah, it's like almost half a dollar. 50 cents. 50 cents, <laughs> 50 cents oh, for that whole thing that he was holding? We're getting a little stone here. They all think we understand what they're saying, but... They look straight at us. I don't understand a single word. I just do thumbs up and thumbs up and nod your head. Yeah. I feel like that was a dream almost. Yeah. Thank you. Goodbye. Goodbye. Ready? Two, three. Oh, that's good. Yeah. Oh, my God. I know. <laughs> Feeling all good and giggly, we hit the streets and staring out the window instantly became 10 times more fun and exciting. You guys have no idea how much chaos is happening out here, but it's organized chaos, and somehow, it's all beautiful. Newer told us about another surprise destination that he wanted to take us, and of course, we accepted. So we heard about a local wrestling match here today, randomly. It's Friday, so it just happens to be today. Ticket counter. How much is it to get in? 10 half? 15 cents a person. The admission fee is 15 cents. 
to come watch a to game. To go to watch a wrestling match in Afghanistan. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> So the concession stand here is just a man selling about nine kinds of nuts, all different kinds of fresh nuts. How much is the peanuts here? 20 apps. 20 apps, so that costs more than the ticket. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There is a sand pit in front of us with young kids well, I'm seeing kids that are like five right now. <laughs> Is that the jury right there? Yeah, there's a judge right there with a mic. When they start every event, they started with uh, some verses of Quran. getting really crowded and feeling a little tense. Just don't want to stay in one location for too long. It took a bit of time to get started. The next day we flew out to Kabul and there was one more thing that I wanted to get to show you how cheap Afghanistan is. I need to get a haircut. Uh, it's one of my favorite things to do in foreign countries. Like when else do you get to spend like 10 minutes with a complete stranger? You know, it's, it's always a fun experience and here on the streets of Afghanistan, uh, we're gonna get a, a, a little street cut. Whoa, whoa. Aggressively uh, pulled forward here. Oh, wait, how, how much is he trimming it? Like, like his, like his. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 50 apps, but can he make it the same length as his? I'm in Kabul, Afghanistan, and I'm getting a beard trim literally on the sidewalk of a busy road. I'm not sure how clean these are, but I'm not gonna think about that. Drew is crazy to do this right now. I, he, you're out of your mind, man. This is like what it's all about. <laughs> Leave the mustache. <laughs> oh, the comb. So I think he's gonna cut my lip. I'd rather, I'd rather him do that. <laughs> oh, guy, no, never hide us. Hide. Ow, he yanked the hair. No scissors, make me nervous. Don't move, don't move, don't move. Out of all my time in Afghanistan, this is the most scared I've been. <laughs> that was a great beard trim. Tashakur. How much does that cost? So 80 cents, 70 to 80 cents for that beer drink. All right guys, so there you have it. The cheapest country in the world, Afghanistan. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. It was really fun to go around and uh, truly, truly it is the cheapest country. And in case you're wondering, the next cheapest countries are Bangladesh, Nepal, Pakistan, uh, Iran and Uzbekistan uh, and Vietnam. So that's it for today's video guys. Uh, thank you for watching and Thomas, you enjoying? This is the wildest thing I've ever done. So, uh, yeah, I am enjoying it. Awesome. All right, guys, take it easy. See you later. Afghanistan is the first place that I've ever traveled to where I'm like always yeah. cognizant of like how many people are, are staring at yeah. us right now. Where is the police at? Yeah. And that's why like we're filming right now, like very low key. Like yeah. I'm not moving the camera, I'm not pointing it up. Cause I'm like looking around trying to figure out like how many people have figured out that we're like not from here. And the thing is from a distance, we look like we're totally from yeah. here. But if yeah, you but start pulling out your big camera yeah. out of your black exactly. backpack exactly. and you're zooming in and exactly. it's just like gonna, people are gonna look at you. I think once the wrestling starts. Yeah, it hasn't really started yet. You might wanna like go higher up in the background yeah. and punch in. Yeah, yeah, sure, 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 I can do that. But it's, it's part of the fun and part of the challenge of like, we're in a very unique position to be able to come here and tell stories about Afghanistan. And I think um, as long as we do it in the right way, I think it's, um, it's, it's a great privilege that we have, so. Yeah. I'm Drew Binsky, and if you like my travel videos, please click subscribe and ring that little bell so you can get notified on all my upcoming videos as I take you to every single country in the world.